Creekside Otters. Today is January 22nd, 2024. Ah, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm so excited to see you today. I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend and that you're ready for school uh, today and for this week. Even though it will be, again, a short week, we don't have school on uh, the 26th this Friday, so it's a teacher work day and students won't be in the building. So that will be unfortunate. We'll miss you on that day. Um, however, we can get a lot done in the four days that we'll be here. Uh, a quick shout out here at the very beginning. I want to shout out to Ms. Hildebrandt's class. I know that they've been practicing listening uh, during their morning meeting and during uh, morning announcements. So way to go, Ms. Hildebrandt's class. Appreciate you. Thanks so much for, for all you're doing and your hard work at trying to follow our Creekside way, and be present in the moment. Now, uh, let's do a check-in. How's everybody doing? What zone are you in this morning? I, myself personally, I'm in the green zone. I had a great weekend, nice relaxing weekend. Um, and uh, I did, I read a book. I just did some, you know, something for myself. Uh, played with my family. I helped the family move. Uh, into a new house and served some other people and, and helped some people uh, and then took care of myself as well. So it was a nice weekend. I hope that you all had a good weekend as well. Uh, and if you see me around the building, tell me about it. How was your weekend? How are you doing? Uh, so let's see. To start off first, let's do a quick update on our monthly character strong, our purposeful people trait. How are we doing? We're talking about perseverance that's right perseverance it's still the month of january think about something that you're good at right now think about it what are you good at maybe you're good at packing your own lunch maybe you're good at drawing pictures maybe you're good at helping with younger siblings maybe you're good at sports maybe there's a lot of things that you maybe are good at you weren't born with those skills were you you learn them through practice and perseverance. Now, think about something new you'd like to learn. Something new. Hmm. Something new. What's something new I want to learn? You know, I'll have to think about that. Maybe if you see me around the building, I can share with you what uh, what I might be wanting to learn something new. Well, once you've got your idea, the best way you're gonna learn how to do that thing is by doing it. And when you start out doing something new, it's gonna be hard and you're probably gonna fail. Yeah, probably fail. And you probably fail miserably, right? And you mess up and you won't do it right. But in order to learn that new thing, you have to keep trying and keep doing it and over and over again and practicing and failing until you get it right, until you get better and better and better. Just like when you're learning how to read, right? When you were learning how to read, goodness, you were making mistakes all over the place, forgetting sounds of things and all of that. But guess what? As you keep practicing and persevering, you come up better for sure. Now, I want to share with you a little video about that. Go, okay? Perseverance. A word we talk about in sports, but one that's so difficult to actually embody. Defined as continued effort to achieve something despite difficulties, failure, or opposition. If you're looking for a living embodiment of that word, it's you, Michael Penix Jr. Your story started as a skinny high school kid from Tampa destined for greatness and ended up with you on the Heisman Trophy stage. But it wasn't always easy, was it? At Indiana, your story was more about the setbacks than the touchdowns. Torn ACL my first year, and I had a shoulder injury the second year, another torn ACL the third year, and another shoulder injury the fourth year. That fourth injury, though, was perhaps the toughest. It was a lot of battling back and forth in my head, a lot of negative thoughts coming in my head. I was trying to push those out, you know, as much as I could. 
The physical toll of your injuries was matched by the mental strain of the adversity. You opened up to the world about your mental battle, the tears and the prayers before the games. Yet through all of this, your resolve never wavered. Then came your transfer to Washington. A new chapter and a new beginning. just rebuild yourself, you transformed a program. Another Heisman resume moment and Devin Cuff with the catch of his career. It's hard to imagine that a quarterback, just a single player, could change a program in a town the way you've changed Seattle. Washington rediscovered its place at the pinnacle of college football. A national championship appearance, a Heisman Trophy finalist. And to think the kid on that stage in the fancy suit was going through all that adversity just a couple years ago. You, Mike, are not just a football player. Football is what you do, but it is not who you are. You are a testament to the power of the human spirit and a role model for anyone facing their darkest moments. Here's the truth. For all you've done on the field and all you've accomplished in college football, your legacy isn't about the 96 touchdowns or the 13,000 yards. What a great example of perseverance. If you want to pause the video and, and have a conversation about that right now, please feel free to do so. It's always impressive to me when I hear stories like that of people who uh, work hard to accomplish great things, right? To, to do things despite how hard they might be or despite how difficult the path might be to get there. And I'm always impressed. Uh, this is a big, big example, but there are things that we can do that you can do right now in your own lives that show that same level of perseverance, that same level of dedication to your schooling and to yourself and to whatever you want to do, whatever you want to learn, whatever, whoever you want to be. And you just have to be willing to put in the time and the effort to learn and to grow and to be what you want to be. But it does take time and effort. Now, um, let's shift gears a little bit. We're going to talk about uh otter frenzy wednesday is the last day for otter frenzy so if you've got the, some of those last minute uh activities that you're working on things you want to send me in uh let's get those in uh i want to thank everybody for working hard uh around our school expectations practicing evaluating looking at how we might be able to improve all of those things i'm excited and, and grateful for the work that you've done thank you teachers for putting in the time uh, to do that into your busy, busy days. So thank you. Uh, I do want to give one quick shout out to, we have had one class so far that has completed every single activity. And they have earned the official Otter Frenzy badge, the badge of all badges. Uh, and it is the Otter Frenzy badge. And it was awarded to Miss Paisley's second grade class. Congratulations. You did it. You completed it all. And I appreciate that. Way to go. All right. That's all I've got for you today. I hope that you have a wonderful day. See you around the building. And of course, as always, make it a great day, Otters.
for this. <laughs>